So we got to see some really exciting things in Frontiers, like display of Planet Coaster 2 on Frontier Unlocked. Now, if you're really lucky to be going to Gamescom, you will be able to actually play this. And I'm super excited for those people that get to go. Because <laughs> this game looks incredible. They showed off so much and then they go ahead and say they only scratched the surface. Now, there's a few things that we kind of like notice when watching this. One of my favorite things really is um, Basically, when you play Planet Zoo or the old Planet Coaster, you have to place the bushes down yourself and the trees down yourself. And to be honest, sometimes when you're trying to make something, it can be quite tedious and long. And something I liked about Jurassic World Evolution, uh, all games that they make, by the way, if you're not too sure, is that they have like a foliage brush. Well, in Planet Coaster 2, you, if you're a bit eagle eyed you will notice there is a brush for foliage. So yeah, that's something I'm super excited for. Uh, they didn't show that off being used, it's just if you're eagle-eyed you would have seen it, or if you're like me and was just caught, like recorded the live stream and then kept caught by like, pausing at certain points to get a little closer look at things that I would have noticed when just watching it, because I was way too giddy like watching this. It's been quite a day with a few different other reveals from other places, but yeah, th this was definitely the most exciting for me. Uh, one of my favorite things as well about this game is that each ride is customizable. You can attach like objects to them and also to the individual moving parts. And all those like items you attach will move with the ride. So you can not just decorate the standard rides, you can decorate the carts and roller coasters and things like this. And it's got me really stoked. Like, I'm not joking, like the dopamine after watching this was at a really high level. And I've only started playing like Planet Coaster this year and relatively through it as well. So I'm pretty new to Planet Coaster with after years of just playing all the old roller coaster tycoons. But no, this is this is some next level. Um, something I'm really excited for as well is the way you do paths. Now, have you watched any of my footage in the past with either well any Frontier game really, mainly Planet Zoo and also uh, Planet Coaster? I do not get on with paths at all. It drives me insane. So it's nice to see there is a massive upgrade on their path systems, which has got me really excited. And looking at the chat from the live stream, it blew a lot of people's minds. So with the paths, you can now have like a free draw kind of system. So if you were drawing, you could draw a massive circle. And then as soon as you finish that circle, boom, path. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's basically turning the game into Path Simulator, which is, uh, yeah, it's mad. It's absolutely mad. Like, it's a really good touch. And if you watch them when they're making the paths, it looks so much easier. And then that brings us on to the next thing, plazas. I'll see, making plazas can be a bit tedious. If you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. If you like me, who doesn't really mess around past too much because they stress me out, uh, it's a bit difficult to make a plaza. I may try and make the odd one, sometimes give up, sometimes it actually works out well. But with this, it's, it's so much easier. You can either use like a grid system and put down your plaza, you can use the pen to put down your plaza, and the best thing about it is you can build on the plaza. Like, you put your plaza down and bam, you can slap a ride straight in the middle of that. And yeah, I, I feel like this game is getting a lot user like user friendly. And I got a feeling as well when making things on here, it's gonna be a case of where like Planet Zoo um, and Planet Coaster, it can take me up to like two hours to an hour to make something. And that's only because I'm trying to be like quick so I don't have much time and spare time to do things like this. I know other creators have a lot longer time and sometimes will spread that out throughout a few days as well and they come out with some really insane builds. 
But with this, it feels like it's going to be nice, quick, easy, simple. Let's say you're that person who only has like an hour, but like spare time to play a video game. You're not going to find yourself only half completing something. You're going to find it a lot quicker and easy. That's just my assumption from what I've actually watched and what I've seen in this. So yeah. Um, some other things I'm pretty excited about, obviously I've mentioned about like adding things to roller coasters, like the actual carts themselves, you can full on decorate that thing. And what makes things easier about it is let's say you put it on the one side of the coaster and then you've got to think, oh God, I've got to line it up with the other side to make it. No, 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 there's none of that. There is a tool that mirrors it. And then there's an even other tool that can mimic. So it goes across all of the coasters. So wherever you place it on there, it will, uh, you know, transfer to all the other coasters another big thing i'm super excited for in this is the fact that like in prehistoric kingdom you can change the size of objects resize them make them smaller make them larger and that is something that's going to help me loads because sometimes i notice my builds are a lot less detailed in the planet coaster and planet zoo mainly because i can't get things to fit right and i don't like having to separate them from the main build because obviously if you want to move it ever so slightly you've got to separate it and before you know it that one build has like 20 different things attached to it to try and make it look good and i'm not a massive fan of it i know that's the way of doing it but i prefer it being able to stretch out the item make the item longer make it shorter uh sort of thing so that is something i'm really excited for anyways i hope you enjoyed this there is a lot more to it it was a big deep dive this and like i said they've only scratched the surface and uh, we're going to see more of this at gamescon and like i said if you're one of the lucky few that get to play it then yeah happy days for you anyway thank you for watching until next time i'll see you later